morning and a warm welcome back to Gold Moments. This is episode 31 and in episode 31 we're very much going to mirror what's been taking place over the course of the last few weeks and indeed months in the UK. I'm sure it's not escaped your attention that we've had a general election and a new government has been formed and we feel here at Golden Lake School that in terms of our push for ensuring students understanding appreciation of British values that they have experience of democracy and so what we've done in one of our classes in PSHE is that Miss Umar has had a group of students who've put together a series of different parties, political parties, within their lesson. Um, they developed a manifesto and they've actually been able to present that manifesto, take questions of it and act it out. So now I'm going to hand over to Miss Umar who's going to talk a little bit more about what students have been doing um, and give you some indication, hopefully, of what the final election result will be. 2015 have got our students excited to create an election of their own. PSHE has been an important platform and key in allowing our students to have their voice on key issues on what they will do to help our society. So welcome to Golden Hillock General Elections 2015. Hi, my name is Tahira in, and in PS we have been learning about democracy, not just democracy outside of school but also inside of school. As the general, uh, general election approached recently, we have learned about it. In PS, we created our own political parties. My political party was called the Great British Royalists. Our manifesto consisted of tackling the NHS crisis by having more appointments, as well as this wanted to tackle those immigrants who come to our country. We are allowing them to come to our country, however, we want them to come Hi, to my name is Sahiba Chowdhury. I am the leader of my political party, which is called the Royal Constitution. I will now talk about our three main policies. One of our policies is to ensure that prisoners who are sentenced to life are sentenced to life because we want a secure future for all people and also we want, uh, we want to fight for girls' education in developing countries because they have the right to vote, not be enslaved in a kitchen and also finally our other policy is to a man, uh, for key stage four to learn about personal man management about money because this will help them for later years to manage money. Um, so does anybody have any questions for our political parties? Uh, yeah, I would like to ask um, uh, Tahira, um, what are you going to do about the immigration? Are you going to go get out of the, um, the European Union or are you going to stay in there? No, we're going to stay in the European Union. We'll strengthen the links, however, we will still let people into Britain. We won't close the borderlines because that would just be silly. Britain is known for its history and closing the borderlines would not do anything. People come from all over the world and they contribute to society. This is what Britain makes Britain greater. Okay, um, and now I've got another one for the uh, Royalists. I'd like to ask, um, what are you going to do to imply the... Uh, Key Stage 4 business uh, studies? Uh, so um, most of Key Stage 4 will learn how to uh, manage their money and for so that when they are um, in, independent um, they can learn that you know I need a, a weekly food budget and I need a weekly um, shopping budget and so um, they can learn about their own money and finance. And one final question for uh, both of you. Uh, do you think that's going to make a big impact on the economy at any circumstances? Uh, what's going to make an Like if you're going to put extra money into the schools to, I don't know, put yeah, a Yeah, it business. will because the people will be more educated and therefore so like if you wanted to do medicine, you'd be a better doctor, you'd be a better nurse than they are today if you give them money to help them make the education better. Okay, thank you very much for our questions and thank you to our political parties. Thank you very much, Ms. Umar. Clearly some really inspirational work taking place there, an opportunity and a challenge that students have risen to uh, and really developed an understanding of how important democracy is and had their opportunity to experience it for themselves in their lesson. Um, so that's it for this week's Golden School Golden Moments, but we look forward to seeing you again next week for episode 32.